figure I'd do a post game wrap up. Not really a full wrap up, but I'm gonna just show you all the three pointers that we made in this game. We only made 12 of them, but you're gonna see all 12 and how they form. So the first three pointer is called Well Pope. I'm gonna show it all from the broadcast view. So looks like he just pulled up. Made that one. Okay. Then the next one. And your rookie Davis. If you're wondering, I'm using a postseason roster, so I got the rookie, the draft pick for 2022. He just pulls up over. I don't know who that was. I don't even care who it was. He just pulled up and drained it on. All right, next three pointer we make. Davis again, off the double screen, oh, switch it here, off the double screen there, and you see that screen, you know it's going in, so it's good to Davis to drop that, next three pointer we hit, Pope again, now this was at the end of the scramble, now you've probably seen the highlight on Twitter, but this was crazy, so we're going to show this in its entirety. We're just going to rewind it all the way back. <laughs> you could have the Benny Hill uh, theme playing while this back and forth was going on. This was just crazy. So we're going to start it here. So Gafford rips the ball away, gets it to Achimura, who turns the ball over to Lamb. Butler has it. And he throws it, and Gafford knocks that away, so... I thought I had a layup here. Nope. We're back down the court again. And then Kisper with the rip right there. And finally, it comes to an end. He should have had a layup a long time ago. But he hits the three anyway. So that's that three. Then Matthew Moore hits a three. He was just open, so he just rise and shoot again. This is over Vincent. That should have been and one. Okay, next three pointer. Pope again from uh, Eric Bloodsell. Oh, that's from distance. That's from the H or whatever design that was. Hit that from the hit from the H. Drained it over somebody. <laughs> Get paid. All right. Next three pointer. Beal hits one. Yep. Shouldn't have left them open. Well, the thing was on that play, it was just a simple handoff off the freelance, and just had the space and opportunity to pull up. Knock it right down. All right, so next three. That's Duncan Robinson. I'm talking about threes on my team. Denny hits one. By the way, Blesso had 10 assists in this game, so it was crazy. And I picked him up midseason because Ishmith and Mike Davis, they were both getting tired. And Ishmith is not an everyday starter, and he was – just wearing down. Matter of fact, I gave Ish the night off tonight because it was like the tail end of a back-to-back. -back. So you got Denny celebrating over there. All right. Uh, let's see. We're in the fourth quarter now, so Davis hitting, I think this is his third three of the game. Comes off the Rui screen. on fire. Then next three is feel again, but now we're using one of the plays that we cooked up. We actually um, added to the uh, the playbook. It's the hammer play. This it's actually become a favorite to run. Is they went to pre-rotate, and 
Wrong move. They left field wide open in that corner. Wait a minute. Did he? Oh, okay. I thought he pushed him. No, nah, he didn't. So I think we run it again. Yep, here it is again. So the hammer play. They got caught in a pre-rotation again. They try it because they're so busy trying to start the stop the uh, drive. That's really Beal just going to the corner. He's not driving now. This ultimately. I do a variation of this play later on that winds up in Beal cutting to the basket and going in for easy dunk. Now, is that the last three we hit of the game? I think, yeah, I think that was that. Nope, we got one more. Pope again, just rise and shoot. Catch, rise and shoot. I think that's the last three we hit. And then, of course, Beal seals the deal. We're just going to show this because this is reminiscent of MJ. With 2K23 coming out, it's kind of... It was interesting to get this play to happen. Now, let me just make sure I got it on Beal. I'm going to play it. different angles. Symbolic. Just watch it from, actually, let me zoom out a little bit. Because sometimes you don't get the whole effect until you see it right here. So this is coming off the pick and roll or pick, fade, whatever I call it here. This was basically off the freelance. This is a seal the game right here. Game over. So I beat the Heat on the tail end of a back-to-back -back because I beat the Hornets the previous night. Beat the Heat in this game. And a well-deserved day off the next day. So my franchise is going good so far. Uh, I know it's so late in the cycle and I'm playing. Um, I finally have gotten a groove into this franchise mode. So, hey, better late than never.